Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the author of What is WebSphere, also the webmaster of pulpjava.com and even www.examscam.com. I'm going to push you as much as I can to buy one of my exam scam certification guides or one of my many books on, on WebSphere on Amazon.com. Anyways, what I'd like to do right now is show you how an HTTP session works. I'd like to create a new servlet in my exam scam web project, web project. I'm going to call this the session servlet. Not too creative. It's going to be the com.examscam.servlet package. And it will have a do get method. Now the idea of this particular servlet is to kind of create somewhat of a stateful experience for the user. Um, the HTTP protocol itself is stateless, very much like Canada. Canada doesn't have any states. Um, however, we like to keep track of what our user is doing. Um, and to keep track of the user and keep track of information a user has given us um, from sort of past sessions or past interactions, we use something called the HTTP session. I'm going to get rid of all of these needless comments. And essentially what I want to do is I want to, inside of the do get of my servlet, so when someone calls a servlet, I want to create a stateful experience. I want to get a HTTP session object. And you get that from the request object. So request.get session gives you a session object. Now I'm going to just change this here. Request and response. Now this actually takes two parameters, false and true. Request.session false says if the user already has a session, give it to me. True says if a user does have a session, give me the one they've got, otherwise create a new one. So here we actually want to see if user has a session. And if session is null, well, if the session is null, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new session. Session equals request.get session true. That always creates a new session if one doesn't exist. And I'm also going to stuff something into that session. I'm going to create a new integer object. I'm going to call it hit count. And I'm going to stuff that into the session. And I just absolutely hate the code adding and code updating. Anyways, how many extra braces did this put in for me? Okay, now one thing I have to worry about is my import statement, HTTP session, is not automatically available. So I have to do a quick organize imports and all of my error messages go away. And so what I've done is I've said essentially, let me just give myself some braces here. I've said I need a session. Let's see if one already exists, get session false. If this is null, then one didn't exist. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one, get session true, and then we're going to create, initialize a hit count to zero, and stuff that count into the session. From there, what I can do is I can say um, integer hit count. You know, I don't like using that twice, but I'm going to anyways. Integer hit count equals session dot get attribute count. And so now you can see that I actually put something into the session here, that count, and I'm getting it out of the session here. Notice the way that you put it in and you put it out has to be exactly the same. It's very sensitive to case. It has to be exactly case sensitive. What error am I getting? Can I convert from object to integer? Well, that just makes sense because in here, when you pull something out of a session, it comes back as a lazy object. It's got its union card. It doesn't want to do any work that it doesn't have to do. What you have to do is you have to pull that union card away from it and cast it into the appropriate object. But now, I've actually got that hit count object. What do I want to do with it? Well, who knows? Hit count. I want to increase that. So hit count equals um, new integer. Um, hit count dot int value 
plus one. So that'll create a new integer based on the old value incremented by one. So that gives us a new value. Then I don't know, why don't we do session set attribute count hit count. So now we're stuffing it back in to the session. Usually that's not necessary actually, but you kind of get the idea, you see what it looks like. And then finally, what do we want to do? Well, maybe we just send a message to the user. So I'll say uh, anything you want to do to the client, you do to the response object. I'll say response dot get writer dot print. And what am I going to print to the user? Um, something along the lines of number of times at this page. And then plus what our hit count is. And so I'll go hit count dot int value. Make sure I get my little parentheses on in there, semicolon. And that ends up completing this particular servlet. So when it comes in, we'll try and get the session. If a session doesn't previously exist, so if the session comes back as null, we'll create a new one. True there, false there. Then what we'll do is, if it is, if we have to create a new one, if they've never been here before, we're going to create a new integer, initialize it to zero, and shove it into their session. Session dot set attribute count hit count. Then what we're going to do after that is we're going to pull that count out of the session with a get attribute. Then we'll increment that by one, stuff that back into the session, which as I said might be not be necessary, but you get the idea that we're pulling it out here with the get, we're putting it in there with the set, notice the exact same name, exact same casing, and then finally printing out a message to the user saying, hey, this is the number of times you've been here based on the new hit count value. And that's how we create a servlet that uses the HTTP session. Now I'm actually going to try and run this, so I'm going to do run run on server. We'll redeploy this application to the Web Server Application Server version 6. Exam scam on the web module are there. Click on finish. And then the first time we're at the page it says the number of times at this page is 1. If we click refresh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can do this until we hit the upper limit of an integer which I think is uh, several million billion times. So I'm going to stop at 28. Um, you can go and see what the upper limit of an int is. As I said, in the meantime, uh, please go and, and pick up a copy of What is WebSphere or one of my exam scam guides. Um, really appreciate it if you did, especially if you've got a big expense account. Um, bill it to your boss. We can even do kickbacks. You know, you buy five, you know, anyways figure something out. But pick them up and please pick them up off my website as well. You'll get them at a discount and uh, we've always got them in stock so we ship them out the next day. Thank you very much.